Hello everybody. In the last video we ended up here. Um, we are in the third room with the security holograms down in the vault, uh, the Sierra Madre's vault. And you can see the security holograms right now. I came over here and I found one of the uh, uh, holographic emitters. And here it is over here. By the way, just before I started this video, I went back to one of the vending machines way upstairs again. Uh, traverse through that whole level again and I grabbed a bunch of stim packs so I've got 15 stim packs seven of these and a super stim pack so I think we should be okay we should be able to heal ourselves um, now we've got this problem and I don't think there's much I can do about it but oh yes there is another one here and I'm safe right now and I just blew that one out looks like it took that guy out whoops but now this guy's shooting at us Okay, let's uh, like crouch back here and kind of let him. Over time, they uh, they go off of high alert, and then it says that I'm hidden again. Oh, come on, just do it. Yeah, there we go. See, now I'm hidden. And there's another hollow emitter over here. Oh, I'm detected. Ooh, I don't really care. There, shot him out. Now that's two of them, but there's. See, there's one left. One's still shooting at me. So let's drop down here. Ah! Oh. Okay, I just did that part again so you don't have to watch me uh, go through that whole area again. And now this time we'll drop down here and we'll be much more careful this time around. Yeah, there he is right there. And now I think we're okay. Um, I didn't really find a way to... Hmm didn't find a way to get around him so I think and I don't have a stealth boy unfortunately see so the best thing I can do is La Fantoma and I can maybe well now I was detected again uh, I'm gonna go over here to this terminal you see it I'm just gonna have to run right by him and I'll go through here and down here oh that was his hollow emitter I just saw it out of the corner of my eye, so uh, activate the hologram control. Maybe I can have him move somewhere else. There we go. Now maybe that will send him in a different direction. And there's his hollow emitter. Boom. There, that's the third one. Now something's still... Yeah. There's still something uh, making my collar go off, so I'll have to figure that out in a minute. Huh. And I know there's a way to get through here. Here we go. No, that goes back down there. What the hell? We need to get through here. And there's that freaking speaker that I can't turn off. Whoa, that was close. Um, am I missing something or not? Terminal 2 control. No. How in the hell do I get through this? That's the way I have to go. Uh, boy, I'm cutting it really close, aren't I? Uh, now I can't do anything there. Activate the hologram control. And, s oh, shut alarms down. Okay. There, turning off alarms. Now let's see if that turned off the force field, too. No, it didn't still got the force field going on but at least uh, uh, that's shut off now we have to figure out how to shut that force field off I know the answer is here somewhere um, I have a feeling I missed oh yes I did miss something down here so let's pause and save really quick okay yes uh, we do need to go down here because uh, uh, there is something that will help us unlock that force field so you kind of drop right down onto the pipes and I know we're being poisoned, so we have to do this fast. So we run over here, and look at this. It's a toolbox with nothing. And then the vault turret terminal password. And that's what we can use to uh, uh, dis- Whoops! Oh, God, I thought I jumped off. Whoa, my health almost. That did a number on my health for sure. So let's do a super stim pack, a stim pack. That at least gets us going. Yeah, here we go. 
that's better. And now, here's what we do with that password. We go back to this area. There was a, yeah, like a computer room down here. And I had already turned off the speakers once. By the way, it's right here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. A local map, I'm right here now. And we open the hologram control and now there should be a new option to turn off the security force field. And it's because we grabbed that password. So now we should be good to go. Hmm. And here we are. This is the way to the vault. Yeah, and I'm beeping again. Hmm. Oh, there was a first aid box right here. That's good. Let's back up so I stop beeping. Yeah, there we go. And here's a terminal. Let's check this out. Vault security protocols information. Uh huh. I see. Not shielded. Okay. So it's just showing me the different configurations. The vault will enter a lockdown state. The elevator is locked. Once initiated, it cannot be undone. Huh. So disengage vault security protocols. Well, I have to, otherwise, I'll get chopped up by those. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and that also sends the elevator up, so now apparently I can't get out. So that's not good. And here we are. We're in the main area now of the vault. There it is. Oh, that's ridiculous. How f high up does it go? Uh, let's explore this area around here first. Uh, anything? You never know what will come in handy. A wrench won't come in handy. But... And here's where I first came in. See? That's how I... The elevator is uh, through here. And I'll bet you money that you can't get up now. Oh, you can. Okay. I don't know why. But anyway, we're here now, so... Let's... Oh! There's a extracted holotape. Let's just see what it says really quick. Ripped from a terminal drive. Vera, uh, if you're reading this, oh yeah, it's Sinclair finally catching on to Dean and uh, Vera and their heist. So now, if you want to read this, you can just pause it. Okay. And anything exciting in here? Nope. Okay. Let's do it. We're ready to enter the vault. Let's pause here. All right, saved. And now we're going to enter the vault. And we can't do it directly, so we have to do it through this uh, terminal. And we have the vault door control in the terminal. Then we click unlock the door with a little message from Sinclair. And here we are. It's the Sierra Madre vault. Now you'll notice that the vault locks immediately after you enter, but that's not a big deal. Here we go. Here's the spoils. Look at that. So, this pre-war money we can take, uh, and all the chips we can take too. Now, unfortunately, these gold bars are 35 pounds each, and they're worth a lot of money, but uh, normally you can only carry a few of them without being over-encumbered. But I've decided that I want to show you how to steal all of the gold bars and make it out of the casino alive. Now, uh, I think a lot of people haven't figured that out, but I figured it out ahead of time. So let's see what's in this gun cabinet. We've got all kinds of good stuff. Um, my Sierra Madre armor uh, could use a little bit of, yeah, so let's, let's grab two of these and then uh, Sierra Madre helmet reinforced. I think I can use these to help repair that too. And we got a stealth boy. The stealth boy is what you need if you're going to make it out with all of the gold. And I think we, we don't need any of this other stuff. Yeah. Um, there's a suitcase with more chips and uh, money. Uh, you know, we might as well use all of our chips right now, right? Because uh, I can't use them back in the Mojave Wasteland, so let's just buy a bunch of stim packs. And here's another gold bar, like someone actually tried to steal it. Let's walk around and see what else we can loot first. 
Uh, you're totally safe in here, so... Oh yeah, let's just grab everything. That was a lot of good stuff in there. Um, and if you notice, I'm way over encumbered, and it's not going to matter at this point, because uh, I've got 35 gold bars on me, so of course I'm over encumbered. Reprogram turret defenses. Oh, access is denied. Uh, so let's take all the gold bars, and I'll show you how to get them out of here. And the trick is to drop them all at once, so they you don't spend all this time picking them back up. So here's what we do. Um, we're going to try to trick Father Elijah to come down here, and then we're going to sneak past him as he approaches the vault. But we can't just do it with all this gold in our hands, so we have to put the gold close to that entrance. Not this entrance, but the entrance over here. And I'll show you how you do that in a minute. So let's activate the control terminal, and we read... Oh, terminal locked. Oh, vault security is enabled, so I have to disable it. That was my fault. Uh, here's the security terminal. Let's disengage vault security protocols. And... Hmm. Yeah, let's just uh, check this really quick. So Vera keys. Blah, blah, blah. You know, to Vera. Vera, if you're reading this, fears to come to pass. If you realize that... My last words meant to you. Uh, so they have led you here, and this place will keep you safe. So what Sinclair intended to do is to bring Vera down here and then seal her in the vault forever. Um, so you can pause and read this if you like. And, you know, it's more about this, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And I knew it would not matter, blah, blah, blah. When Dean revealed his plans, I fear that I've overstepped myself. I fear that it is useless. You know, he fears a lot. There should be enough in the vault to sustain you until help arrives, see? So he meant to keep her down here forever. I hope you were able to read this and know that I loved you. Ah, oh, so sappy. Okay, so that's, and now we could read this. If we read this, then the game's over. So you don't read this. Instead, you just leave. But we're going to end the video here because I think it's 12 minutes now. And then we'll pick right up uh, in the next video. And that should be the last one. So look for the finale later on tonight. Bye.